Hello students! Welcome back to our science video. We are done with the topics complete dominance, incomplete dominance, co-dominance, sex-linked traits, and the first part of multiple alleles which is the ABO blood system. For today's topic, we will discuss another example of multiple alleles which is the rabbit fur color. At the end of this video, viewers are expected to Use the Punnett square to solve for non-Mendelian inheritance. Before we proceed with our discussion, let's recall first the definition of multiple alleles. Based on our previous video, multiple alleles is when there are more than two alleles or a gene in a specific trait in the population. In ABO blood system, there are three different alleles, which are allele O, P, and O where alleles A and B are dominant over allele O. While in the rabbit fur color, there are four different alleles, that's why it is considered as an example of a multiple alleles. To further understand the four different alleles, let's look at the picture. In the picture, there are four different types of rabbit fur color. We have black, chinchilla, Himalayan, and albino. We can clearly identify the difference of each rabbit based on their fur colors. To continue, wild-type rabbit which has brown fur, also called agouti, a color which is usually gray or dull brown, is another dominant color of rabbits, followed by chinchilla, having a black tip white fur, next is Himalayan, having a white fur with black paws, nose, ears, and tail, and albino having only white fur. The four different fur colors represent also four different alleles in rabbit fur color. As you can see in the genotype, all genotypes given are all homozygous for that specific allele. To further understand, let's use this picture. We can see that brown color or agouti has an allele capital C since agouti is the most dominant allele followed by chinchilla with lowercase c with ch superscript, next is Himalayan, lowercase c with h superscript, and the most recessive allele is lowercase c for albino rabbits. In agouti rabbits, there are four possible genotype combinations since agouti is dominant over all other fur color, while chinchilla has three possible genotype combinations since chinchilla rabbit is dominant over Himalayan and albino. While Himalayan has only two possible genotype combinations because it is only dominant over albino rabbit. Lastly, albino rabbits has only one possible genotype because it is recessive to all other rabbit fur colors. To show the possible crossing of each genotypes in rabbit fur color, let's answer these sample problems using the Punnett square. In this problem, the genotype combination for each fur color was already given. Suppose you cross a chinchilla rabbit with a dark gray rabbit. What are the possible offspring? The possible offspring based on the Punnett square are dark gray, chinchilla, another dark gray, and Himalayan. To determine the genotypic ratio, we need to list down all the genotypes present in the Punnett square. As you can see, there are four different genotypes. That's why the genotypic ratio is 1 is to 1 is to 1 is to 1. But when we express these genotypes into their phenotypic form, there are two dark gray, one chinchilla, and one Himalayan. That's why the phenotypic ratio is 2 is to 1 is to 1. In our sample problem number 2, the genotype combination for each fur color was also given. Suppose you cross a Himalayan rabbit with an albino rabbit. What are the possible offspring? The possible offspring based on the Punnett square are Himalayan, albino, another Himalayan, and another albino. To determine the genotypic ratio, we need to list down all the genotypes present in the Punnett square. As you can see, there are only two different genotypes. That's why the genotypic ratio is 2 is to 2, or to simplify, we have 1 is to 1. As we express these genotypes into their phenotypic form, there are two Himalayan and albino. That's why the phenotypic ratio is also 2 is to 2, or to simplify, 1 is to 1. 
we will answer more word problems in our synchronous session. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe by clicking the notification bell to be updated for more science educational videos.